Hello and welcome to Web Learning with Knowledge You Shared. In today's video I'll show you how to do low power mode in stop. So let's begin. The objective is today is to use the external interrupt that I used from the how to GPIO interrupt. You can go and watch the video. You'll see it on the right corner of the screen. Then we're looking to learn how to do a stop uh, with the HAL. Then create a simple project with the stop mode. The core is stopped. Any core is not working. The HSC and the MSI clocks are off. The SRAM and register contact is still preserved because it's still using the internal clocks of the internal the HSI. The peripherals with HSI, LSI, LSE clocks options can be on or off. All the GPIOs keep their own setup. How does it work? So first, we initialize the NVIC, then we initialize all the GPIOs, then we use WFI, this is wake for interrupt. This will create an edge when we have an interrupt on a rising edge of any of the peripherals. Then we get the external interrupt handler, then we go into the HAL external interrupt handler. From there, we get all the HAL files clearing the flags, the check errors, and everything else from the HAL. Then we get to the callback. And then we need to reconfigure all the clocks after wake up because we stop them, the HSE and the MSI. It is very important to connect during reset with the debugger. I will show how to use it with Atolic because it is using a different method. It all depends on the ID that you have. The functions to enter a stop mode are either HAL power enter stop mode or HAL power enter under drive stop mode. In this tutorial today we we'll use the HAL delay 1000 to use as a interrupt to wake up from the stop mode. Then we have the HAL power enter stop mode. We'll do a PWR so this is power low power regulator on. We'll leave all the regulators on and the stop entry with wait for interrupt WFI. After we wake up, we have to do the system clock config in order to set all the clocks back again to the default state. As always, I'm using the CubeMX. Again, if you don't know how to use it, go back and watch my video. On the clock configuration, I'm going to leave everything is the same. With a project manager, I'm using True Studio, and we can generate the code. Open project. We'll open the project. SRC, main. This is our code. Under the while, user code begin three. Let's add the lines HAL delay 1000. HAL PWR for power. Enter. We either have sleep mode standby mode or stop mode we'll do PWR for power low power regulator on PWR stop entry either wait for event or wait for interrupt and system clock config because we have to set all the clocks back again let's compile debug if I try to run it, you'll see that the target is not responding. Retrying again because I didn't set yet the connect under reset. So I need to stop this. As I said before, we need to do a connect under reset or during reset. Depends on what you're using. With Atolic, you need to open the Estelic utility in the background, click target settings, and have it connect under reset set. Leave the Estelink utility open and go to the Atolic and click debug again. Now let's try to debug. I'll put a breakpoint at the system clock config so we'll see when it exits. I'll click resume and you can see that it exits every one second because we're using the HAL delay and wait for interrupt and the HAL delay gives us an interrupt. That's it for today. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you know when I'm uploading a new video. Thank you.